What's up YouTube? Thanks for joining me on this channel today. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in as always. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. I think we have a cool video for you today. So as you all know, I bought this 2020 Lowrider S. I've been looking at getting this Lowrider S for a long time. And one of the big things that was kind of like a hurdle for me was just the price. So I knew that I wanted to get the best dang price available on this Lowrider S. So I did a lot of research. Um, I was doing some research around like how to get the best deal on a Lowrider S. I wanted to share some of those things with you today and just basically start a dialogue and just talk about you know how you've gotten the best deal and also stick around to the end of the video because we have another giveaway coming yeah I also did want to shout out the winners of the Loyo turn signal lights so congratulations to you two thanks for tuning in and thanks for being with me on this journey let's get started with the strategies on how to get the best deal for your lowrider s let's just talk about the basics right the salesperson has a job so the salesperson's job is to sell you a motorcycle for as much money as possibly allowed so that they can have money to put food on their table for their families your job in this whole process is to buy the motorcycle buy that same motorcycle for the cheapest price you can so that you can have money saved over to put food on the table for you and your family right you are at competition with each other I don't want you to think that the salesperson is a nice person, you know, they're your friend, whatever. They're there to sell you a motorcycle for as much money as possible. That's the basics of the game. And I just wanted to point out that these dealerships, they are kind of built like a casino in a way when I, when I thought about it. Dealerships are designed to tilt the odds in their favor. So all the tactics that they use, you know, making you wait, getting their sales manager involved and like all the games that they go back and forth and all these things that they do, they are designed to get you in the door. They're designed to tilt the odds in their favor so that they can sell you the motorcycle for as much money as they can. So the way that I think about it is it's kind of a casino. Your job is to get as many advantages, get as many favors as you can, stack them in your favor to get the best deal on a motorcycle. So here are some interesting things that I've learned that I wanted to share with you all. So the first one is kind of obvious. If you want to save as much money as possible, buy used. But these are strange times that we live in right now. These are strange times. Right now, Harley, used Harleys are going for more than brand new Harleys. And you know, there's this whole supply and demand chain thing that I'm not gonna really get into right now. The supply side of things are just not going as well as these manufacturers have wanted due to COVID. And so that's hiking up these used motorcycle prices up. Some things to keep in mind though, when you're buying a used motorcycle is the interest rates. If you're financing for used motorcycles, it can be more. So keep that in mind, do the math if you can. Uh, to figure out what the final payoff price will be. Sometimes a used motorcycle is a good financial decision and sometimes it's not. So that's strategy number one. If you just want to bypass the dealers altogether, for the most part, you can go a used motorcycle route. The second one is when is the best time to buy a motorcycle? According to Revzilla in the motorcycle market, the best time to buy is in February. That's typically when dealers are going to get new stock, new inventory, and they're trying to get rid of old ones. Uh, what I found is that Harley is different. So in 2019, Harley-Davidson, in the second quarter, they sold about 40,000 motorcycles, right? And in the fourth quarter, uh, they sold 20,000. I'll put the exact numbers on the screen. They sold about half of what they did in Q2. This means that your typical salesperson at Harley is dying. They will be willing to do anything to make a deal. I would say that's strategy number two. That is probably typically when salespeople are more hungry to meet their yearly quotas and you know they, they want to have a good December. They want to have a good Christmas too. That might get you a better deal on the Harley that you're looking for. The third strategy I would say is if you're lucky enough to live in an area where there's multiple dealerships multiple Harley dealerships you can make dealers compete with each other for the best deal that's a legitimate strategy and sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't but and it really depends on the dealership and it depends on how desperate they are to get sales because some dealers will be better than others having that information in mind will be incredibly incredibly valuable to you all right so the fourth piece of advice that i think i can give is around financing now some of you will be paying off the motorcycle in cash god bless you uh that's probably the best deal you can do to save yourself the most amount 
a lot of us, like myself included, we're not in that position to be able to pay off the whole motorcycle in cash. So you're gonna have to go through financing. And most dealerships make it so easy to do everything in one place. Cause it's, yeah, cause it's easy. They'll provide you the, the interest rates. They'll provide you the loan. You sign with them, yada, yada. And I think a lot of time people go in to dealerships saying, this is how much I want to pay on a monthly basis. And as long as you can get that within that range, I'm fine. What they don't know is that these dealerships will basically extend the life of that loan, that these dealerships will give you high APRs and they'll just extend out the length of the loan. So in the long run, you're actually paying a lot more for that motorcycle. That is probably the, one of the worst strategies you can deploy. So don't do that. Check in with what your APR will be from Harley. And what's better is to do some research and get, get some pre-approval loans before you even go in. So that is another strategy you can deploy. All right, so we're gonna pull over here and we're gonna chat for a little bit. Yeah, we'll also talk about this next giveaway. Yeah, make sure you understand the interest rates that Harley is going to give you. Make sure you have some offers from other companies so that you can get the best deal on your Harley Davidson. Get the best APR possible. It might be from Harley, it might not. The other piece of advice that I can give is sometimes dealership will not be able to budge on their MSRP. If that's the case, then what I would recommend is see what they will throw in on top of the deal. I've read that people have gotten $500 or however much gift cards, like a $250 gift card. You can either sell that or you can put it towards something that you're gonna get maybe like some clothing or some accessories. I remember when I bought my 2016 Iron 883, I kept on haggling them. Uh, I think we settled on like a 25% off of all accessories and mods and even the service. So I've seen people get free tires. I've seen people get extended warranties or I, I've read. So those are all things that are fair game. Go after them, be ruthless. You know, this is your hard earned cash. Um, I want you all to be happy with the motorcycle that you get. I saved the best for last. It is the best advice that I can give. If you know which exact model that you want, go on Facebook and join some of the groups. Like for example, this Lowrider S has a couple of groups that are about 5,000 members. You can ask people, hey, I'm looking at getting this model. How much did you all pay for? And what's wild is people will be honest with you and they'll give you honest answers. Uh, ask them how much they paid out the door because that's the most relevant and also ask them what state they're in and if possible, what dealership they bought it from. Once you have all that information, then you are armed with data. You have data on how much this person paid from this state and this specific Harley dealership. So now what you can do is you can go into your dealerships with that information and say, hey, I know for a fact that these people pay this much. A key language that you guys should all use. I'm willing to buy today if you can do this price for me. If that dealer that you're working with can do it, they'll do it for you. If they can't, they'll walk away. It's that simple. That data is so critical because it just, it gives all the information back to the buyers, right? Trying to tip the odds in your favor versus the casino, that is what you're trying to do. You are trying to tip the favors for yourself so you get the best deal possible. And this is the most critical advice that I can give. Go to the Facebook forums and ask, how much did you pay? How much did you pay? Oh, what kind of deal did you get? Take note of that. I would say maybe like take a sheet of paper and just write it all down. Uh, then you can go to the dealerships and see if any of these dealerships will match that price or give you that same kind of offer. If they can't, what you can also do is Harley dealerships are national. You can call up that same specific Harley dealer and see if they will do that same exact deal and just ship it to you or work something out. Like I said, you worked hard for your money. Go after the best deal possible. That's the content of the video for today. I hope you found it informational. Let me know in the comments if you deployed a, a tactic that you thought was really cool, that, that really worked. We can all be better educated consumers. So with that said, I'm gonna move on to the giveaway of this week's video. So all you have to do is comment on this video and subscribe to the channel to be entered in this week's giveaway. Cool? So last week we gave away the turn signals from Loyo. This week, what I have are these. It's got a cool little logo. They sent me some gloves. Um, they said, hey, like, will you take a few pictures with these? We really like your style and all that. And so, yeah, I definitely said yes, but I'm also looking out for you guys. I said, hey, would you mind sending me an extra pair that I can give away to my subscribers? And they were definitely cool enough to send me an extra pair, which is in this bag. These are the perforated black leather versions. I, I really like them a lot. They're very soft leather very comfortable i don't i think these are mostly spring summer gloves 
and it's got these like you know the hardened knuckles i don't know what this comp this material is not the greatest protection what's awesome about these the touch screen works really well i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah it, it's very accurate harsa donzar so the pair that i'm giving away are right here look at this this is size large in brown leather. It's super soft leather. I'm gonna give away this pair to a subscriber. So all you have to do is comment and be a subscriber to the channel. That's today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I'm gonna skate out of here. Thanks so much for joining. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace.